Okay, drawing fraction multiplication. This is what we talked about. Another word for this is array models or area models. Okay, the first thing we need to do is look at our fractions that we're multiplying and decide whether we're going to choose vertical or horizontal to represent our first fraction. In this case, I'm going to go vertical. So one half is going to be represented vertically on my box. Okay. That means I'm going to divide it into two groups. That's close enough to the middle. Okay. Now, only one of these groups should be shaded or we could shade it by representing it with diagonal lines. Either way you want to do it, it's fine. I'm going to do it with diagonal lines. I'm going to try to use this tool to see if that will work. Uh, let's make it a little thicker. So I'm going to represent one half of my box There we go. Okay, now horizontally I'm going to represent three fourths. Okay. Make my line thin again. <clears throat> so that means I'm going to cut this in the middle. Let's use a different color for this. Let's go blue. I'm going to cut this in the middle and then cut these in the middle to make force. Close, not perfect. There we go. We're going to try to pretend that all this red is not here, the red lines. It'll make it easier for us to understand to represent three fourths of our box. So just think of the blue line in the outskirts of the box as what we're talking about. So three-fourths, I need to fill in this fourth, this fourth, and this fourth. I need to draw my lines at a different diagonal than the red lines are, though. So let's try that. I think that was my thickness. So in this case, I'm going to represent one, two, three-fourths. So let's start about... Oh, this is good right here. Notice my lines are going in a different direction than the red ones. And you'll see why in just a minute when they start to get closer. And remember, I'm just filling in three fourths. Cool. There we go. Three fourths. Okay, so vertically we had halves. Uh, horizontally we had fourths. Now, what we've got to look at is what part of the box is shaded by both colors. One, two, three sections out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three eighths is our answer. So let me kind of um, highlight in what I'm talking about here with this box. Uh, let me get a good color here. I don't know. How about a wonderful pink or something? There we go. So this area here if you will notice has both colors in it. 
that's the overlapping part of one half times three fourths, which in turn actually gives us our answer of three eighths. Now I know you could solve that without doing this array model, but these array models are very useful, especially in the real world and some kind of geometry application. Okay? If you have any questions on any of this, I'm also going to post a video, uh, one or two. I'm not sure if I can find the second one. I know I have the first one. But I'm going to post a video of another teacher doing array models at a different school. So if you'd like to check that out, look for that also.